07 Commanders. Explorers Exobiologist Observatory is the essential plug-in suite for all the dangerous needs. It tracks your discoveries, bio samples, and first footfalls in real time. Today, I'll show you exactly how to install it and put it to work. Now, they do have a couple different options. If you just want like a bare bones without having any of the Odyssey additions, that's where you go to the EDJP and download it there. However, if you scroll down the page where we have it for plugins, you're going to notice that it'll say Observatory Core. That's what we're going to need for Odyssey. And it's also going to be dependent on the .NET 8. And then just download the setup.exe. Once again, this is uh, not a Windows program. We'll have this Windows protected your PC right anyway. And you can pick and choose if you want to install it for all users or just yourself. So we accept the terms of service. And then this is where you can put your file path. Now the plugin itself is actually not going to be too large. So you can install it into your normal C drive. Now we do have optional plugins. So we have the Explorers plugin and then we have the Botanist plugin. Plugin for finding interesting objects while exploring. Plugin for tracking surface biological signal scan while on foot. We're going to grab both of those and click next. So now that you have the observatory core downloaded, we head back over to the website that we originally started with. And then from here, we have the option of downloading several different applications here. So a general breakdown, just in case you're not wanting every single one. So we'll start with bio insights. So biologist, this is your plugin. It tracks your biological signals, logs your scans, and makes sure you don't repeat samples. Next up, we'll have the colliders. Highlights unusual system layouts like binary stars or tight orbiters. Explorers love this for screenshots. We have the evaluator. Shows which systems are valuable, perfect for explorers who want to prioritize Earth-like, terraformable, and ammonia worlds. We have stellar overlay. As a quick visual breakdown for stars and planets when you jump in so you know what's worth getting. We have the voxel stats. This tracks how much of a galactic region you've explored. Great if you're chasing first discoveries. Then last but not least, we have the Astro Analytica. This is going to be an end of session analytic. Shows exactly what you scan, your credits, and your bio hull. So if you want the full experience of the observatory, you want to download all these plugins. So once you have all that done, head over to your plugins folder. Then from here, just paste in what we just downloaded. So now it should be able to read everything. All right, so now that you've downloaded everything, you want to restart Observatory. That way it actually reads your new overlays. And as you guys can see, we have type worker, type notifier. So as long as you have status OK, everything is going to be reading correctly. So now all we're going to have to do is click Start Monitoring. This is going to actually have real time data. That way it's going to be able to pick up exactly where we are. And you'll have several different pages here. Area A to B has carbon dioxide, ice, geyser, category biological, geological. So nothing's really too fancy here. We have the bacterium fonticula. Looks like it's going to be about 1 million each over on B3D. We have the botanist, which we have two bio samples taken. We have the voxel status. We have colliders. We had the evaluator. It looks like it did pull the data from our stream last time. So we have two different planets that we haven't gone to yet. That has biological samples that it looks like. And then we have the explorer data, which is exactly where we are. So we head over to the voxel stats. As you'll see inside of the specific system, it has 26 IC bodies. 19 of them are landable. And one of them has an atmosphere count. The rest is going to be zeroed out though. This is going to be dependent on which system you're actually currently in. So according to our chart here, it looks like it's going to be on D12, 218B3D, which is going to be the planet that we're currently going to be heading towards. So we should have two different life forms here that we can test out the Bio Insights panel. Now with the observatory plugin, it should track your first footfalls and also grabbing the data along the way here. All right, so we got that. Get our first sample, then we'll head over into the plugin and see what's actually different. And it'll also keep how much value is on there and it'll tell you the distance you need to go to get to the next location. That's a really cool feature having it pop up in game. Now that is one feature that ED Copilot doesn't actually tell you. This application is going to tell you the distance, not only from the last one you went to, but the first one as well. That way you can make sure you're not going to be cross pathing again in a circle.
Three partial samples of Funticula collected. So if you're trying to keep track of all the data on the planets using the Bio Insights, it'll have a check mark for the ones that you've done and it'll have the three dots showing that you have all three of the samples done. Now this guy is focusing more on the plugins. Tomorrow we'll have a video on how to actually find biological samples on planets. That way it's a little bit easier for people new to uh, exploring. All right, so the first time going to a system, if you head over to the system map, so inside of the star map, we have plenty of stars here and an asteroid belt, but we don't actually have any other data. So uh, observatory is not going to be able to see anything at all until we start getting the data for it to read. So to do that, you want to use your honk. That way you can see how many bodies are actually in the system. Occasionally, it'll be a system just full of stars. So it's not a guaranteed. This one has 37 bodies in it, though. And then from here, we're going to need to use our FSS scan and start to map out all the planets and then we'll have enough data and it'll point towards what's actually valuable and what's not valuable here. And while you're doing this, it's also going to pop up data showing that we're logging everything in the bottom left hand, or sorry, bottom right hand side of the screen. There we go, biological data. That one's going to be something that we could actually go to. So for example, if we're looking for the max amount of money, you can see that it's going to list each of the value targets, so the tool suck's going to be worth the most out of everything on the list here. It'll tell you the exact planet that we need to head towards. It's going to be a rocky body, three bio signatures, so it's going to be the 1B. Now to show up more of the features here, we have the Astro Analytica. This is going to have like a cool like sightseeing thing, but if you head over to your own system data, you can see where all you've been throughout your session playing. As you can see, it only recorded today's research area, but that's okay. We have the Bio Insights is going to point exactly towards where the biological life forms are inside of this body. So far, we've only found one planet that had biological data, but it's worth 6.58 million. And on top of that, as a first discovery, that'll be times four. So it's going to be worth even more. The botanist, it'll keep track of what all samples we've actually gathered. So that's on the previous system. This is the new system, and it's also showing that we don't actually have any samples taken yet. So once we have that, we'll have a check mark here. We have the Boxel stats is going to be able to pull up a list of the planets. I have the colliders, which that's still empty. We have the evaluator, which will show you exactly how much each planet's going to be worth. For the visit slash map, it looks like we'll get $383,000 from the system. Then for the Explorer, it's going to be able to pick and choose which planets are actually landable and which ones are worth going towards. Now, if you want to tweak your settings a little bit more, you can head over to the main observatory core and click on the core settings. So for example, you can have your audio device set up. You can also have it set to where the pop-up notifications are. You're going to notice throughout the video, we had it in the bottom right. You can move it over to literally any spot on your screen. You can also have it chime whenever you have an audio notification if you want, or you can have that disabled. We had it disabled for this video. Now you can also pair this with Spanch for plotting routes or the Neutron Plotter. Customize alerts to avoid notification spam. Observatory turns your exploration bio hunting into a smart rewarding loop. Download it before your next trip and check out my live streams where we put it to work. If this guide helped you figure out how to use Elite Observatory, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and let me know what is your favorite plugin to use inside of this. Seems like a really cool program. I'm excited to use it on stream on Thursday when we're going to be finishing our exploration and then heading back to the bubble to turn in our data for the community goal. But I will see you guys in the next one, Commanders. Hope everyone has a good afternoon, evening, and morning.